Each week on The Meredith Show, we try and introduce you to somebody fun and fabulous in the community, which is why I'm delighted to share our guest today, Mary Lee. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me, Mary. And it's no mistake that we are in the children's section of the Richland County Library. Um, warm, fuzzy things behind us, around us, um, and your books that you've authored right in between us. But you haven't always been an author. Tell us how you were inspired to do so. Well, uh, we came to Columbia after retiring from the Air Force, and I went to um, Black Mountain, actually in North Carolina with my husband. We stayed at a bed and breakfast, and I just started writing poetry. So then I went from poetry to short stories over this several years, <laughs> and it eventually turned into children's books. Well, what, what made you decide to do children's books of all things? Because they are really enlightening and fun, but you could have done many things. Well, when I was writing the books, I wanted, I started with my Air Force Mom, which was my first book. And the reason I wrote it, and I also wrote a song called Little Shoes, and the reason I wrote both of those were to recognize and give attention to the fact that women were serving in the military along with men. Um, especially when I was in the Air Force in the 1971, I went in, retired in 1996. There were um, very few women, women in the first 10 years. <laughs> so I wanted to um, just get that out there to the civilian population. That it is pretty unique and you are very special. In fact, how rare were you when you started as a lady in the Air Force? <laughs> uh, when I first started, uh, I went to my base. It was my very first base. I drove up to the gate. I had my orders and the gate guard came out and said, I'm sorry, but you're not stationed here. And I said, yes, I am stationed here. I have orders. And he goes, we don't have any women here at wow. this base. And I said, please call. And I had a number. And my supervisor had to literally come out to the gate guard and, they didn't and bring me in. They didn't <gasps> believe because wow. they had no enlisted women. They had a few officers, but they had no enlisted women on that small base at the time. What a spectacular story. <laughs> and fast forward to now, and this is much more common, but tell us what the book is actually about. Well, my first book, My Air Force Mom, is about a little girl following her mother around the Air Force Base. And they go to the commissary, they drive through the gate guard. She's really excited about getting her ID card. Um, when children in the military turn 10 years old, they get their own ID card. And she's very excited about that. Then she um, travels in the end to her Aunt Beth's house and she tells her how proud she is of her mother for serving in the Air Force and that she would like to be in the Air Force. Ah, so it's really inspiring and designed to inspire people to recognize that it's something to be proud of. Yes. And um, it's very special. Well, before we run out of time, there are a few other things we'd like to mention. You've written a song and you actually have a new book coming out. Tell us the name of it. I have a new book coming out. It's the ABCs of Titles for Tiny Tales. And it was scheduled to come out this spring. It may be summer. You started out with My Air Force Mom. And we also want to let people know that you have a funny book, which is called <laughs> When Grandma's False Teeth Fly, as you can see right here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell me about that book. Uh, this book is about little Katie. She has a chipped tooth and she's teased about it at school. So her grandmother tells her a funny story to make her feel better. And you mentioned that it was actually inspired because as a child, you were teased a little bit. Yes, I had uh, both my two front teeth were chipped and uh, I was teased quite a bit about them. Yeah, and, and obviously there are, is bullying going on. So yes. tell me how the book has a lesson in it. Well, this, this book is what I talk about bullying back when I was in school, which was <laughs> quite a while ago. It, it's not as um, serious and severe as it is now. Um, she just learns to use humor because her grandmother's story about her false teeth flying into the chocolate pudding at the church potluck, <laughs> um, she sees how it can be comical. And so she uses humor to deal with the bullies. Well, it's good to laugh at the hardest moments because if you can't see any humor, life would be pretty rough, right? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, thank you, Miss Mary. If you at home would like to learn more, please be sure to contact Mary Lee through her website. The information is at the bottom of your screen. Mary Lee, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me.